Hello everyone. So today's topic is about uh, the magnetic field. So magnetic field is in the chapter four for physics semester two matriculations. So for four point one magnetic field, there are two learning outcomes to be achieved. The first one is you should be able to define the magnetic field. And the second part is to identify the magnetic field sources and to sketch the magnetic field lines for two cases. One is for the bar magnet and the current carrying conductor. And the second part is for the earth magnetic field. So the pictures on the left is uh, the picture of a magnet. So how to define a magnetic field? Right, so we can define the magnetic field as the region around magnet. So this is the magnet. So let's label down the magnet. So the magnetic field is defined as the region around the magnet. Where what happens is that the magnetic force can be experienced. So magnetic force is either pull or push. So in this case that the clip is a metal, so it is attracted, so it's pulling towards the magnet. So it is one of the type of the magnetic force. So magnetic field is the region around a magnet where a magnetic force. So the magnetic force is a new term to be learned in chapter four. So magnetic force is the symbol as force F and the magnetic subscript B. Yes, so the magnetic force can be experienced around the region. Right, so we have achieved the first linear outcome to define the magnetic field. So the magnetic field in this case has um, two poles. One is the north and the second is the south. Right, so before we uh, continue with the uh, attractions between north and south or north north or south south so uh, let's take a re recap of uh, what actually is the magnetic field so the relations between uh, the previous chapter about the electric field and the magnetic field is from the electrical charge so the first chapter about the uh, electric so electrostatic which is a static electrical charge uh, so I'm gonna draw back just a simple diagram for electrical charge, maybe a proton, a positive or electrons, either one. So this electrical charge, when it is stationary, so the region surround the stationary electric charge is only the electric field. Right, so we learn that this electric field is readily outward from positive and readily inward towards the negative. Uh, charge. So this is from chapter one. So this is the case for stationary electrical charge. And what's that relation with the chapter four magnetic field is that when this electrical charge is no longer stationary, so when it is in motion, so it moves. So in this case, I just uh, draw that the motion goes to the right. So whenever the charge moves with a certain uh, velocity. So surround the charge will be having two regions. So one is the electric field and the second is the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is produced by the moving electrical charge. Right? So electric the magnetic field produced by a moving electrical charge. So when the electrical charge is static, so uh, there will be no magnetic field. Right. So this is the relationship between magnetic field and the electric field. So next we are going to learn about the poles, the poles of the magnet. So these pictures depict three different pictures. One picture is showing. Uh, unlike pole. Alright, so this is the unlike pole. Unlike pole means that uh, it has two different poles side by side. 
Right, so for the case of uh, unlike pool or opposite pool, unlike same as the opposite pool. Right, so in this case, north on the right, south on the left. So the attraction fields by this pool are attractive. Right, so it's going to attract to each other. So it will be experiencing an attractive magnetic force. Right. So it will attract to each other, just like um, maybe maybe you can take an analogy like the north as the man and the south as a girl. The man always attract to a girl, right? So this is an attractive force. Uh, the second picture shows uh, a light pole. Okay, so the case for the light pole, I use the north and the north. Okay, this is light pole. Okay, light pole means the same poles the same poles so it can be north and north or south and south so uh, what force that they can feel is the repulsive force right, so this is repel a repulsive force okay, so just like a man maybe a man and a man uh, they won't be like to each other because men and men uh, naturally won't get married and then won't uh, cannot be together and uh, just like um, the, the girl and the girl so girl and girl the same gender cannot be together because it prohibited in um, in a religion right so uh, shows that uh, those poles north and south and north and north are surrounded by the magnetic field and you notice that the magnetic field north and south will be attracted. So it shows that um, the, the magnetic field, I will draw it by using a different color. I'm going to use a yellow color. So north will leave, the magnetic field will leave the north and entering south. So this is the magnetic field. All right, so it traces the patterns from gonna make a like a curve a bit on its edge so here i'm just tracing the magnetic field the so living north and entering south right, so this is the concept for the magnetic field that the magnetic field always living from north and entering the south right so i normally use this analogy to make it easier that uh, north is like a uh, letter N at the first letter N O, the first letter N N no. It's just like uh, you close the door, and not allow any gas to enter your house. So no means that leave. So please leave. And as uh, I always use the word as filler, filler means welcome. So you are always welcoming gas to your house. So when the gas leave from north, it will entering south. South means like sealer. Sealer means like welcome. All right. So north out, south in. So that's the way of uh, memorizing the directions of the magnetic field. And the case for the light poles that uh, let's trace the magnetic field. So those those are north and north means that they won't attract to each other, and the magnetic field will um, just repel to one another. I'm just tracing a few of its empty field lines. So the arrow will be leaving out from the north and it will seeking for the south. Right, so this is just a few examples of the magnetic field surrounded pole unlike and light poles. And uh, take note that uh, the special case for the light poles that uh, the north and north in between them, uh, let me use another color to make it clear. I'm going to use the purple one. So uh, the middle point it is here, the center, uh, is what we call a neutral point. So this is the neutral point. Let's take note about that. The neutral point is in the middle between the light poles. So the neutral points, the concept is that uh, there will be zero resultant magnetic field. So it has zero magnetic field, zero resultant magnetic field. 
So it means that uh, it, it doesn't fill any magnetic field at the point. All right. So for the magnetic field from the first magnet leaves out the north and the second magnets, the magnetic field also leaves out uh, the north, it won't intersect at this point. So this is what we call the neutral point. Right, so which the concept is a zero total magnetic field. And the special case with um, the third case picture shows uh, the magnet, the normal magnet. Right, so let's, let me take back the yellow one. What color where are you, where are you? Right, so these are uh, the magnetic field lines. So I'm uh, just tracing out few of the lines. The lines will leave from north and entering south. And also let's trace down here, entering south. And some others just leave the north. Right, and going in the south. And a few points to be taken is that those lines that we drawn it will never in intersect to each other. They won't cross each other. They would never ever cross to each other. Right. So this is the few examples on the sketching of magnetic field lines. Right. So let's proceed to the concept for the magnetic field lines. So magnetic field lines uh, are used to represent the magnetic field. So by convention that uh, the magnetic field lines leave the north and entering south of the magnet. So the representations of the magnetic field line can be shown as uh, an analogy of an arrow. So I always use this analogy of an arrow. So you can see that the arrow has its back. So let's label down is the back. So this is the back of an arrow. And this is the front view of an arrow. So the way to represent the magnetic field lines is by showing that representation. Let me write down that first. Representation of magnetic. Field right, so um, you use back this arrow, just the, like the dart arrow that you play on the dart. So uh, if you view from the front of the, of the arrow, you will just seeing a dot. Okay, I'm using another color. So you're going to see like a dot, the pointer as the dot. Right, so this is the dot. So the dot view is mean that uh, the magnetic field lines will leave out. Uh, sorry, we uh, we leaves out. Sorry, yeah, leaves out out of the pitch. Out of the pitch. Uh, so just like um, you view it from the front of the arrow. So you're gonna see like a pointer as the dot. Uh, it leaves out and towards your eye. So it you can it kind of like out of the pitch. And if you see from the back of an arrow, uh, you will see a cross because arrow has like four sides. Uh, so you're gonna like to see a cross from the back of an arrow. So this is what we, you, you will view from the back of an arrow. So it kind of like uh, you throw the, the dot into the pitch. So from the back of the view, you are seeing the cross, so that shows the dot move into the pitch. So the cross represents the magnetic field line goes into the pitch. Uh, so these are a few examples on the representations. So this is the first example. So dot as out, cross as into. Right, so the second representation is the one that we just drawn in the previous page here. That it shows some curving part on the edge and a horizontal or a parallel line uh, in the middle, for the case of, uh, as the north and south. Right, so uh, it means that uh, the magnetic field line also can be represented by straight lines or curve. Okay, let's write down that. And so it represented by straight line. The straight line normally is in the middle in between the poles. So straight line 
or turf. Turf is at the edge of uh, the pools. So it can be straight line or curve. So let's draw one example. So this is the curve, uh, just a random curve. Uh, let's show the direction as well. So along the curve, I can uh, show the directions of magnetic field by pointing any point along the path. So um, just example at here. So at that point along the magnetic field line is the directions of magnetic field. So it can be drawn as the tangent of the curve. So this is the tangent of the curve represents the direction of magnetic field. Right, so this is at point, any point along the path or the curve. Uh, so as far as we know, uh, there are two representation. One is either dot for out, cross for into the pitch, is the direction of magnetic field, or the second representation is that the magnetic field is the tangent to the curve of magnetic field lines. And uh, the third representations of magnetic field can be drawn by just using an arrow. Right, so the arrow can be represented by uh, divided to four quarters. Right, so uh, just example like uh, we have an axis x. Right, so this is axis x and uh, axis y perpendicular to each other. So this is the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter, and the fourth quarter. Right, so whenever that the arrow of the magnetic field line shown uh, at uh, any directions towards the first or the second quarter, it means that those magnetic field lines will be into the pitch. Okay, I'm just the uh, into the pitch is the red color. So whenever the arrow that the tangent to the curve is going uh, either on the first quadrant or the second quadrant. Any direction or any angle from the uh, positive x axis. So those B, this is magnetic field. So this is magnetic field. Let me write down that as well. So this is magnetic field B. So uh, in any directions uh, along or towards the first quarter and the second quarter or the upward means that any direction on any direction, on any angle from first to second quarter. So all this region, those magnetic field will be into the pitch. So those descri describe into the pitch. So I write down as B subscript into for the first quarter and the second quarter as well, B into the pitch. Right? So it's just like uh, the arrow. Uh, is going into the pitch, right? So it points to it first and the second quarter. And if the arrow pointing towards the third or the fourth quarter, it shows as uh, out of the pitch. I use the green color. So I just take an example of one arrow towards the third quarter and the fourth arrow, right? Uh, so this is the magnetic field. Or in the case with the magnetic field pointing downward, it pointing downward is mean that it is in the regions of from the third or the fourth uh, quarter. So uh, towards the third quarter, fourth quarter, or downward direction, all those three arrows represents out of the pitch. So this is subscript out B out of the pitch. Right, so uh, you need to memorize those directions to apply it in the second part of uh, chapter magnetic field. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the last part is we're going to learn about the earth magnetic field. So for the case of the earth magnetic field, let's take a, a picture of uh, an earth. So an, an earth is actually can be think as a, a giant bar magnet. 
so which has the south pole and the north pole right so before that let's uh, re recap that uh, this is uh, the rotation axis of the earth and this one here is the magnetic axis of the magnet so they are two axes one is for the earth and the second axis is for the magnet and for the earth it has its own pole called as geographic north pole and below is the geographic south pole and for the case with the uh, magnetic axis for the bar magnet uh, it has its own pole as well called as south magnetic pole and down here is the north magnetic pole so um before i explain that by using a, a magnet a compass of a magnet so um let's take back that the the fact is the the angle between those axes magnetic and the rotation axis uh, is about 11.5 degrees but uh, it it keep changing over time because earth and the attractions to towards the sun would be varies because we have we always have a uh, different uh, directions in all the uh, 365 days all the days have different distance from the earth and the sun so it makes a uh, different rotation so that's why we have four seasons in some countries uh, and uh, keeping as two seasons in the equal equator like in malaysia right so 11.5 uh, will be keep changing right and so that's the point there so uh, the point that is important in these uh, explanations for the Earth's magnetic field is that uh, the magnetic field lines is drawn as the white lines always leaves the north pole of the magnet and entering the south pole. So it leaves the north magnetic pole and entering the south pole magnetic pool so let's write down that as well okay so this is the magnetic field lines okay magnetic field lines always leaves the north magnetic pool okay North magnetic pole and enters the south magnetic pole, just like uh, the nature of a magnet. So now is the important and interesting part. So if we put some compass, so uh, I put some compass on the first position. So let's take this position on the equator. So this 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 is the equator. This is the equator, the half of uh, the Earth's direction. So uh, just take these examples of the compass. So the compass, the, the point of the compass is actually tracing towards the north of the pole. So it always pointing towards the north pole. Right? So uh, N is the north. Okay, N the red representation color is the north and the green is the south so note that the compass along the magnetic field line always pointing towards the north it always seeking for the north pole so just another example this magnet so this magnet the north is always uh, the, the north is always seeking towards uh, the, the, the red color is the north, it's always seeking towards the north pole. All right, and the green color is the south, south pole. So it always lives behind the north. Okay. So the north on the right, this is only, also the north. So it always seeking the north pole. So it means that uh, it is pointing towards the geographical north pole. Pole. So it means that the needle of the compass always seeking for the geographic north pole. All right, so let's write down as well. So for the case of compass, right, so it is the needle is actually the needle of compass actually 
is the not speaking pool. The not speaking. So it means that uh, it always pointing towards the geographical not pool. Uh, it contrasted with um, the pool that attract uh, between north and south. So north and south always attract to each other. Uh, so that the, uh, the actually that the compass of the needle is actually pointing towards the north geographical seeking pool. Right. So this is the concept for the earth magnetic field. So that's it. I'm going to see in the chapter 4.2 for the next part of magnetism. So thank you.